so the subject of today is the next generation of cross media uh, analytics. Um, so uh, just a, a first a, a bit of information about us. Uh, Memo2 is an organization uh, specialized in cross media effect measurement, and we've been doing so since 2004. Uh, since recently, we're also a Kantar company. Um, so what's the difference with Memo2 versus um, other cross-media measurement companies? I think uh, the basis is in our vision, and our vision is called Branch in Control. With Branch in Control, we mean that we try to uh, provide information, data, and insights to brands in a very short-cycled or continuous way. Uh, to complement the more pre and post measurement, which is kind of quite more common. Uh, and also the things platform that we're going to discuss is such a short cycle data and insights platform. Um, yeah, let's move on. Um, hopefully the clicker works. Yeah, so why do brands need um, a continuous, um, um, continuous insight in the cross media effect? Well, basically, the first uh, the, the first topic of that is is that um, of course it's it's getting uh, uh, you know there's a reality that uh, traditional media, uh, digital media, and retail media is a very fragmented and very hard for brands to um, uh, to optimize. Uh, so brands need a more integrated uh, approach. Uh, but there's also a need for speed for brands. So uh, of course, some brands. Uh, can handle a quarter to quarter type of optimization, uh, but more brands like CPGs, like, like fast movers, like marketplaces really need optimization from day to day or from week to week. So tradition, more traditional ways is not really working out uh, in that sense. So uh, this need for speed also asks for different uh, solutions. So what's the problem definition? I'm not going to read it and read it all, but uh, it basically means brands in control. So how can brands be in control and how can we provide a more understandable, real-time and integrated uh, type of insights to uh, optimize cross-media investments? So what's the solution? Um, well, I, you know, I can make it very complex. I can also make it very uh, easy. Uh, and the, uh, the easy part of, uh, of it today uh, is a people-centric approach. So we started to measure people, but we started to measure people on a week-to-week, day-to-day, hour-to-hour, and minute-to-minute basis. So how does it work? Um, well, the short answer to that is uh, we... Uh, uh, ask respondents or uh, uh, audiences to download um, our app, uh, which is tracking real-time consumer behavior, um, uh, simply by activating all senses of the mobile telephone. And um, well, what type of sensors does the mobile phone have? It, it offers uh, a lot of uh, um, data enrichment. Well, first of all, of course, uh, real-time location information, so like GPS. And GPS uh, uh, teaches us to how often a consumer is watching uh, out-of-home advertising, but it also tells us how often they go to particular supermarkets or other retail outlets. We also use uh, uh, ACR or audio content recognition to, uh, to be able to recognize actual audio visual types of commercials in TV and uh, uh, online video, video on demand and that sort of stuff. Um, if we want to have input from consumers themselves, we uh, use push messaging to get really like tiny, tiny, small little surveys. Uh, and we use the camera uh, to get more of a qualitative uh, insight. And of course, the most important part, of course, is the uh, profiling of audiences, in which case we use representative audiences and we have about 200 variables per individual uh, member. So... In reality, um, uh, how does it uh, work? Uh, well, first of all, you see this, um, uh, if the clicker works, uh, you see these two people uh, watching television or watching video on demand or watching anything else. Uh, so once a commercial comes by, um, the uh, microphone of the telephone will get that uh, noise and the software will recognize it as a commercial of a particular brand. Um, so the uh, consumers will be enriched with those type of uh, information. 
The same holds for GPS. So uh, in this particular case, the beautiful city of Amsterdam. So if a consumer walks past a out of home, um, um, out of home advertising or a display, we are able to connect those. So the uh, human behavior passing an out of home um, uh, advertising is one of the data then being automatically stored in, in the system itself. Sorry, my clicker. Yeah. So, and how do we get uh, fast tracking uh, of brand impacts? Basically, by asking questions really, really fast by using uh, push messaging, uh, in which case consumers also reply very, very fast. So, uh, uh, just basically in in you know in half an hour, an hour, we get a a, a lot of feedback, um, uh, making sure that we have all the brand impact measurements we need. And of course, the, uh, uh, the shop tracking, uh, which allows us to understand uh, shopping behavior, not only to what shops they go, but also how often um, um, uh, and for how long. So the camera, uh, so the camera allows us to un really understand uh, the heart and soul of consumers. Uh, and that's important to get deep dive into more, uh, you know, more qualitative insights. So I have to move on because I don't have too much time. Um, so the integrated analytics. Um, so first of all, we provide continuous insights on cross-media impact. So cross-media reach, cross-media frequencies and exposed audiences are being uh, produced uh, right away. At the same time, we also produce automated insights into effectiveness. So single source and uh, cross-media effects on brand lift. And uh, also, uh, we include shopping behavior. So this allows us to also understand retail media. Oh, yeah, is it the... <laughs> so, sorry, sorry about that. Um, I did have a bit of problems with my click tracker, but uh, I think the, um, the um, 80 or 90% of the, uh, the story is out now.